السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده ولا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله بعد Welcome to the sisters in our program Prophet's Stories We are talking about the story of Adam عليه الصلاة والسلام As you know brothers and sisters when you read the Quran you will find many ayat Many verses about the Prophet Adam عليه الصلاة والسلام because he is the beginning of the human beings عليه الصلاة والسلام He is not the beginning of the creation, the whole creation No, he is the beginning of the human being because uh, as we mentioned before that the angels were before Adam عليه الصلاة والسلام and also the jinn before Adam عليه الصلاة والسلام القلم also the pen was before Adam عليه الصلاة والسلام Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said after the creation of Adam وعلم آدم الأسماء كلها سبحان الله الله سبحانه وتعالى taught آدم the names of everything ثم عرضهم على الملائكة فقال أنبئوني بأسماء هؤلاء إن كنتم صادقين الله informed آدم الله taught آدم the names of everything then he asked the angels which means he asked them Tell me what are the names of these things. And the angel said, Oh Allah, we don't know anything without your knowledge. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told Adam to tell them and he informed them what are the names. Of course, he brothers the sisters we need to realize the importance of knowledge. Subhanallah, knowledge is very important. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught Adam the names. Okay, the scholars mentioned try to find what exactly the names of the things. Some of them said the names of everything. This is a tree. This is an apple. This is the sky. This is the this is rain. The names of everything. Which means knowledge is something very important. And if you notice, brothers and sisters, the first ayah revealed was revealed to our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi was Surat al-Alaq. Iqra' The first word came to the Prophet ﷺ from Allah is Read Subhanallah Which means the importance of knowledge This is very important brothers and sisters And if you read the Quran and the Hadith of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam You will find many proofs Many evidences Encourage us to what? To learn And basically we are talking about the Islamic knowledge this is very important to learn the quran to learn the hadith to learn how to pray and how to fast what are the rules of charity what are the manners of dua okay this is very important in our life and if you have more knowledge you are rising yourself more you are i mean you are raising yourself more and more in the sky I mean, you will be closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. يَرْفَعِ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنْكُمُ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْعِلْمَ درجات. Allah raise those who have knowledge and those who believe. Levels, subhanahu, because of what? Because of knowledge. And subhanallah, يعني, the scholars mention something interesting. They say, even the knowledge is important for the animals. You know, we have rules in... Uh, in fiqh, that, that we can use the dog if he is a learned dog for hunting. But the non-learned one, it is not allowed to use. This is the virtue of knowledge even with the animals. The knowledge. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught Adam alayhi salatu wasalam many things. So this is a very important encouragement to learn. Read the Quran, not only to read the Quran, also try to understand the Quran. For example, when you open the Quran, try to open the translation if you don't know the Arabic language, or to open the books of tafsir explaining the Quran, books of hadith, books which explain the hadith. This is very important, very important to attend, attend the classes of knowledge. Do you know, brothers and sisters, how many hadith about the virtues of learning Islam? For example, the Prophet ﷺ mentioned the virtue of people who attend a class in the masjid. 
if there is a group of people gathering in the masjid, reading Quran, and studying the Quran, what will happen? The Prophet ﷺ mentioned four points for them. The tranquility will come to them. And also they will be covered by mercy. And also they will be surrounded by the angels. And Allah will mention them. Subhanallah. Can you imagine? Brothers and sisters, if you attend a class in the masjid, for example, after the Maghrib Salah, for example, the Imam is giving us a short talk in the masjid. Also for the sisters, if they attend, inshallah, they will get the same reward. Allah will give you these gifts. And also what is more interesting that even the person who is attending the class without the intention to learn. How? For example, I am in, in the class, in the masjid for half an hour, for example. Then my son came and he need to take money from me or he wants to take the key of the car. So he joined the class with the intention to take money from me, not to learn. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will include him in the mercy. Subhanallah. This is the blessing of being with good people in good place. Being with those people who learn the Quran, those who are reading the Quran, learning the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa being in the masjid. So this is wallahi great deed for the sisters to learn more and more. Don't stop learning because you cannot know everything. You cannot, if you, as the scholar said, if you give the knowledge all of you, the knowledge will give you part of, part of it. Which means if you spend your time day and night learning, 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 you cannot cover everything. Yes, you can get a good amount of knowledge, but not everything. Even Musa alayhi salatu wasalam traveled from his place to another place to learn from al-Khadr alayhi salam. And he's Musa. I mean the, the great messenger Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, which means the process of learning should not stop. As Imam Ahmed rahimullah mentioned, min al mahbara al ila al maqbara which means I am with the pen, using the pen, which means seek knowledge, until I reach the graveyard. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught Adam alayhi salatu wasalam everything and he showed the angels the virtue of Adam that this creature knows many things that you don't know. So they and he submit for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or oh Allah, we don't know except what you inform us. And they came to know that Adam alayhi salatu wasalam is a great creature alayhi salatu wasalam. This is Adam alayhi salatu wasalam. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created him, he started with teaching him and informing him the beneficial knowledge and everything. This is the end of this episode, brothers and sisters. Hope that you benefit from it. Zakum Allah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.